Hey everyone, good morning, it's Lisa. And I have been asked a few questions about um, Chanel blushes and just blushes in general lately. And then I've always gotten questions about the um, Chanel Bronze Universal. So I thought this morning I would just go over my Chanel blushes and my powders and my bronzer. So um, I'll start off first with my oldest um, blush. Um, I've been wearing Chanel probably since I was, I think, probably about 23 or 24, so for a long time. And some of the stuff is still, you know, I, I still buy and it's still right there. And um, I think that's one of the neat things about Chanel is it is, well, it's here to stay. And the, a lot of the colors, just it's not one of those brands that you fall in love with something and out comes a new collection and it's gone. Um, they do have collections. And they do have limited editions, but they're not nothing like MAC or some of the other things. And um, for instance, this blush, which is Tempting Beige, um, this is probably my second or third one. And my mom wears this. And this is the very first blush I ever got, you know, um, over 10 years ago. So I'm 38, so what, 14 years ago. Um, and I still love it. It's still a great blush. It's just a very basic um it's a different blush. It's kind of like it would be a great contour blush, and that's probably why I like it so much. Um, it's just a good mix of rosy, beige, and tan, kind of. It's just a really good all-around blush. It's real popular. And um, like I said, that's what I like about Chanel is, you know, I can go right now and get that, and I probably will be able to, you know, five years from now. And I like that about um Chanel. Another thing that's neat about it is you, if you have enough money, you can pretty much conquer Chanel. You can pretty much almost get everything that you want. And I mean, it'll, you know, cost you to keep up with it, but it's not like MAC where it's just so overwhelming because I have a tendency to kind of really get into something and it's like I want all of that, you know, I want all of it that I want. And I've kind of gotten over that because I've really learned that no one brand has everything that I like. But anyway, Chanel comes the closest. Chanel is probably my favorite. Next would probably come back, but Chanel's number one with me. <laughs> Always have been. Um, and then, let's see. Um, this was the one I wore this all last summer. And you can see that I loved it to death. This is the Rose Bronze. They still have it. Um, you can see it's a beautiful color. It just has a good sheen to it. It's just a perfect, rosy bronze. <laughs> and Chanel blushes are just awesome. You don't have to work on blending them. They're not too sparkly. They're not flat. They just have a good sheen to them. And, um, and that's what I like. I like a good sheen. I like, a, I like to look luminescent, you know, to look alive. I don't like a real matte or a real sparkly finish. So. That one is a really good blush. I think those two, um, just for anybody, anybody would love those. Um, during the fall, I got this one, and this one is called Fandango, and it's a really pretty one. Um, this one, I had somebody ask about a good orange blush. She said she'd seen a lot of orange blushes, like on the soap operas and stuff, and I have too. I've noticed that. And this is a really good one, and it's so silky. But you can see how beautiful that that orangey, but in a pretty way. It's not like, you know, just jump out at your orange where it wouldn't, I mean, you could wear pink lipstick with this and be fine. It's more of a, just that almost bronzy, golden type orange. And um, once again, that's Fandango, and I've enjoyed this. Um, you can tell, hardly tell I've used it, but I really have. And um, this is good for your crease, too. When I had a makeup um, artist see me one time, it was this guy that's supposed to be just international. He used this as my contour blush and for the base of my eye. It's looks really pretty. Um, my latest blushes are the Tweed blushes. And this one is the Tweed Pink. And you can see that it's um, a bright pink and then like a pinky neutral tone in there. And then this one is the one I just got last week. And it is the Rose Tweed. And um, I had somebody asking me about this this morning, and that's what kind of inspired me to do this video. 
um, I don't know if you can see that the tweed pink is a lot brighter than the rose. And then the rose is a, it's a brownish, it's a, a real, um, like a, a brownie rose. <laughs> it's hard to describe. But these, I'm wearing both of these today, and this is the two that she put on me the other day when I said I wanted the Victoria's Secret makeup. And um, what she does is you put the rose, um, you know, further back on your cheekbone and your pencils, and then you just pop the pink tweed on the apples of your cheeks. And that is so perfect because I never felt like I got the look I wanted with just the pink. Because it was bright and happy and pretty, but it wasn't the depth that I want because I really like contour cheekbones. So the two of them together work wonderful. And there's a coral one, and there might be an almond tweed or something like that. But I really recommend these. At first, I wasn't real crazy about the pink one because I felt like it had so much um, like glittery sparkle, but I realized that's just on the very top. Once you get past that, um, it, as a matter of fact, it's gone already. And um, it, I don't notice it as bad on the tweed rose. Because um, I like shimmer, but I'm not much on just a whole, a whole bunch of sparkle. Um, I'm just too old for that. <laughs> so, um, but I love these. I do not regret them, and I do not regret any of my. I've never regretted a Chanel purchase. I don't think ever. Um, then my powder that I use. If I don't use my MSF Natural, um, I'll use this, and it's just the a beige, not translucent. It's a beige powder, but it's not as much of a coverage as. Um, like the MSF, so if I feel like my makeup's already covered enough and I just basically want to set it, um, I'll just use this, and I really enjoyed it. Matter of fact, I just ordered the peach one, that, and there's a rose one too, and um, peach is what she used on me that day, so I'm anxious to try that. And then this is um, a, it's actually like a powder foundation. It's real similar to the um, Lancome Dual Finish, but it's better. I've tried that before, and I think I ended up taking it back. Um, this, this to me is less powdery, even though it's a powder. It's, um, it's called Double Perfection, and this color is let's see, medium beige and SPF 10. So this is the exact same color as my Pro Lumiere, and that I wear in the Vita Lumiere, which I want to get that Vita Lumiere, but that's on my list. Um, so this is what I use. Um, a lot of times I'll take it with me. For touch up, this is what my mom uses too, and we both use it just to touch up our makeup. Um, say you go to, or say you're just out all day and you want to redo your makeup um, for the afternoon or something. You've been out shopping and eating and everything, and you just want to basically touch up like around your mouth or something where your makeup sometimes wears off. That's what this is good for. And this is probably my third one of these. They last a long time, but I really like them in the summer too when you feel like your makeup hasn't, you know, stayed on very well. And let's see, I have a little bit of time. I wanted to touch on the infamous Chanel bronzer. This is mine. You can see I put a pretty good dent in it. And I use it with the, they, I read somewhere they suggested this little brush. And I actually, um, I've had this for probably 12 years. I got it a long time ago. My little feet are worn off and that breaks my heart. But, um, you use this, and you could probably use any little kabuki, but this is a really nice one. Um, and I just swirl it, you see where I swirl around the edges, and I swirl it in the middle, and I get plenty on there, and I contour like that. And I usually go with my samples. And that's pretty much all that I do with this bronzer. Um, like I think that the new name is really an appropriate name because it is a bronzing base. Um, this, in no way, to me, replaces Laguna, Hula, whatever bronzer you want to use. This just isn't the kind that you buff all over your face to give you that um, sun kiss look. Um, a lot of times I'll just use my Moon Glow if I want to do that. But this is so good for, it's the same concept as when you take a um, cream color base and put it on your cheeks to hold your blush on. That's what this does. When you put this on, not only does it look good by itself, it melts right into your skin, and then when you go to put your bronzer on, that bronzer just sticks to it, and it doesn't cake up or anything. It just makes it last, and it makes it um, just even that much better. So I really think this is a great product. I know it's expensive, and I know it's weird and different, but I think if you'll work with it, you'll love it. And I don't ever plan on being without it. <laughs>
But anyway, my time is up, and um, I enjoyed talking about my Chanel blushes and powders. And I hope to get more, and I will surely show them to you. And um, I will see you soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.